everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. Today we're going over the world of Nintendo, Zelda, and Sheik from Jack Specific. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Now let's get to it. So here's the Princess Zelda box. Really nice figure looking here. We have Princess Zelda right over here, accessory included. It's the Ocarina, which is really cool. Wind Waker, yeah, I feel like she's more from Ocarina of Time, but they wanted to capitalize on Wind Waker for some weird reason. Here's Young Link, or at least Toon Link up here. Young Toon Link, whatever. World of Nintendo right over here on the back. We also have Princess Zelda right over here with a nice render. The Ocarina, some articulation points, and the rest of the figures in the wave. All of Skull Kid who we reviewed last time. So let's take a look at Princess Zelda and see what's inside this box. So here's Princess Zelda. I really like how she looks. Really nice figure, especially this little like thing over here looks wonderful this part of her skirt looks nice it has the Hyrule symbol the Triforce we also have this symbol right over here with a bird and an eye we have a lot of cool symbols down here I'm not really sure I don't really play Zelda all that much I like these sort of pauldrons over here that go down to her chest we also have this little waist thing that attaches to this sort of flag looking dealio it's a nice sort of light pink around the whole body looks very good on the back, we have this nice pleated kind of, you know, part of the skirt in this sort of, like, just hot pink kind of color. On the back, we have a lot of legalese and writing that could be on the bottom. That's a shame. They could have put this here and that there. That's disappointing, but you could barely see it in the light, and it doesn't really, you know, show all that much, which is actually pretty fine. The face is another story. The lips are not really painted. The eyes are tamponed on really well, actually. The crown's kind of boring. And it doesn't really work that much with the head. It should be a little bit higher. And the hair should be resting on this headdress. The ears are appropriately pointy and look really good. And the hair is nice, comes down to shoulder length. And that's really cool. I like that a lot. So as far as this figure goes with articulation, we have a little bit of swivel. It's kind of like a, almost a bobble in a way. I'm not sure how it's connected. I don't want to break anything. But it swivels a tiny bit, you know, left and right. The torso moves left and right all the way around if you so choose. As far as the arms, go up this far, down, this pauldron separate from that, goes up, down, goes up to around here or so, back to around here or so. You can swivel it all the way around, there is some skin poking out underneath that. As far as the long gloved hand, goes up as far as this, and it goes down like this. It kind of can do a double jointed elbow. Actually, it can go farther because I realized I'm not using the right kind of elbow joint. So it does go a little farther than that. That's wonderful. You just got to wait for this little, you know, point. You got to move it in the correct spot. So, as far as the hand goes, you get a swivel. You also get articulation at the wrist. It just goes forward, not back at all. Which is kind of a shame. It looks like I can't. Yeah, you can do that. So, you can do that sort of dainty lady pose if you'd like. Same over here. Really nice articulation. Swivel up and down and no legs that's it just torso head and then the arms it's pretty simple and very basic for this figure that's kind of you know interesting as far as accessories go we have this nice ocarina it has all the little holes in it as you'd want I think I got an ocarina once because oh it's a video game thing and I don't know where I put it got it from Hawaii but it's really nicely done looks really good the holes are actually holes they're not painted on or anything that's kind of it. Yeah, it's a nice little piece that looks really good. I'm trying to find a way to show it to you guys. There we go. Yeah, Ocarina. Looks really good. On one side, and then the other side, there's one little hole. Presumably for like some, some like mouthpieces or whatever to blow near. But it just looks really good. Very special. As far as Zelda can hold it, she can kind of like sort of palm it in her hand. Yeah, that works, you know. Gonna falls out a little bit easily with the slightest touch, but maybe the other hand can hold it a little bit better, you know, like she's offering it or something. Yeah, nice little figure. Good accessory for this, but she kind of doesn't really work well on her own. She works in conjunction with other figures, I would guess, way better. But as far as an art piece, she looks great. Zelda stands just between four and four and a quarter inches tall, and the ocarina itself is around half an inch or so. Here's Zelda and Link next to each other. I find that Zelda's like kind of way too short or a different kind of at least, you know, design from this Link. And I get it that she's from Wind Waker and he's from Ocarina of Time, 
but they wouldn't think to say, hey, let's make her a tiny bit bigger for this other figure we have to it kind of works, because Link and Zelda, you know, are like bread and butter, in a way, you know? Peanut butter and jelly, they're inseparable, so having them in the same kind of scaling would be better. I find that having her t slightly taller, maybe her head should be a little bit bigger or something, the proportion just don't work for me. I know it's from a different game, but it just frustrates me that they can't figure out to make these figures the same height or anything, or work together in the same scaling. That's a bummer for me. At least the Ocarina can work with this Link, and it actually would work pretty well. Oh, and also here's Jesse Heck Creative. No, I will not accept a collect call from Lon Lon Ranch. Please do not call here again. Delete this number. Delete, delete. Prank caller, prank caller. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. So here's the box for Sheik. It looks really cool. I like the look for Sheik. That eye on the front is awesome. The harp looks really cool. Accessory included, Sheik, World Nintendo, and the Ocarina of Time Link. On the back, we have a bunch of figures down here, some articulation, and a liar. That's awesome. Really cool. I thought it was a harp, but apparently I was a liar. So let's open this up and see what's what. So here's Sheik, the alter ego of Zelda. Really nice looking figure here. Looks super cool. We got this eyeball on the front. I think it's a Sheikah tribe thing. This hair looks really nice. The eye over here looks good. Kind of matches the eye thing, you know. Really good. Really nice looking. Some bandages, wraps on the top. Looks really nice. Very good. We also have this sort of tattered cloak coming down with the edges looking fine and frayed. Really good. Some more frays down here. A lot of good detail in this figure. Really well done and well detailed for this, you know, articulation and price point. That's awesome. We have this nice, like, paint over here with some more wraps over here and some armor bits, I would believe, coming down over here. The toes are tipped with, I think it's like the, just the big toe is coming out as well as the heel. So it's like a sort of weird kind of sock coming along this thing, like a weird armor plate. So the look is incredible for this. The color blue is really well done with this sort of more royal blue, which kind of hints towards the uh, identity of the actual character. And also the navy blue that's more armored with this nice tie together of the gray and the red popping out. Really good character design for this character a lot. I really like it. I'm very happy about it. So, going over the articulation now, we have a left and right with a little bit of pivot and a little bit of up and down. I'd choose to push it down, so it looks like it's one big piece over here, but you can move this however you like, and it works out really well. For me, it only moves in one direction, but I'm cool with that. I could just easily just move it around to go to here or here. But yeah, that's a really nice joint for the head. We also have up, is this far over here, not that, not that great. And this far all the way around, which is good. We have a swivel at the elbow. We also have a hinge at the elbow going up this far. They can swivel however you'd like it to. That looks pretty good for the elbow. We also have the hand joint going left and right and up and down. That's pretty good. The hand's a little bit rubbery, you know? That's nice. It has some wrappings around the fingers right over here. We also have the torso joint, which is non-existent. I thought there was one, but I guess not. The legs can do splits a little bit good right over here. We also can go, if we twist up this far with a little bit of creaking and not really that far back, which is kind of a shame. The knee goes up this far, which actually isn't that great at all. And we swivel right over here really nicely. And we have up and down and then some pivot and no peg holes at the bottom of the feet. but. As far as articulation goes, the sort of middle lower section is not really that great. But everything else is pretty solid, and the look of the figure is wonderful. I like Sheik a lot. As far as artic articulation... Yeah, I really like Sheik a lot. She's great. As far as the accessories go, we have this liar. I thought it was a harp, but apparently I'm the liar here. Nice silver sort of bands across. Looks really good. You could tell the little sort of like crooked edges right over here with the hooks along with a strap and a wrap to hold it so it doesn't like get all weird or funky on your body. That's a really nice little detail. Very nice touch. Yeah, that's a really nice accessory right over here. As far as Sheik holding it, 
you can kind of put it in their hand and it kind of works you know might want to do this kind of thing where uh, trying to get the joint going there we go okay it's a really sort of hard to move kind of figure you can have them hold it like this maybe the crooks go into the fingers I'm not exactly sure how this is held yeah that works yeah like this that's that's pretty cool showing off the uh, fire over there really nice piece really good figure and it looks super awesome yeah I might keep chic like this that's a great that's great Sheik stands between four and four and a quarter inches tall, just like Zelda. And also, we have the liar over here, which is around three quarters of an inch or so. Here's Sheik and Zelda with their accessories next to Jesse Heck Creative. Smile! You're on candid camera! Overall, some really nice figures as far as paint goes. The articulation is kind of bad on Zelda, at least. Sheik has pretty good articulation as far as the arms count, but the legs kind of suffer. The paint on them is really good though. The design for that tunic on Sheik looks really good, as well as the intricacy of Zelda's skirt looks really nice. I like how much detail they put into it with sculpt and paint. Looks really good. As far as Zelda's head, it's okay. The face could use a little bit of makeup or something just to make it a little better, I think. She looks very like sort of wooden in a way. But Sheik's paint is really good. I think the white could use one more pass, but that's about it. The accessories are really great too. The ocarina is wonderful and the lyre is really nice. Overall, I would find these figures to be pick upable. I would get Sheik over Zelda though. Sheik just is a better figure overall, but that ocarina is quite tempting. As we continue with Jesse Heck Creative later on. Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jesseheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned!